you scan it. How you scan it is more important than the software that you're working on. Are you scanning it? Good quality. Because you've got to preserve these things. Just think now, you used to have to preserve things, keeping them in one safe spot. Well now, with digital, we can preserve it and spread it around and send a CD to, to a nephew or a niece, okay? Or, or, or a brother or a sister. Even if you think, well, they don't care anything about the family history, I'm the only one. Send it to them anyways. Send them a copy of the CD. You can, I always like to say, you also have a choice of hiring someone to do it for you. So, you know, that's, that's me up here and I'm available for that. <laughs> but um, I, I, I'm not going to push that. Now, there's a lot of written materials. Uh, some of them I have available. Uh, some I do not, but on my website, I, I actually have a, fl a flyer here if you want to get it that has my website and my phone number, and you can come up and get it. You can get a course where I actually will teach you how to do it with video. It has a workbook. You just need Photoshop or Photoshop Elements. There's some other great books by uh, Maureen Taylor, uh, also a, a genealogist and a speaker. And how am I doing on time? How much more time do I have? 20 minutes? Okay, I'm doing real good. This is what I wanted. There's also a series. So if you get Photoshop, right, you buy Adobe Photoshop, and you're looking at this software, it's like very complicated when you're looking at it. There's a series of books called the Teach Yourself Visually series. And if you get that, they, they have a book for every version of Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. Get that book for your version and you'll be so happy. I use it to teach with when I was teaching at the high school, uh, adult continuing ed. Uh, they're really, really, really good books. And of course there's catalogs. So if you go to these websites or call these phone numbers, you can get some <laughs> very uh, nice uh, you have a nice. You have access to some very high quality archival uh, products. They also sell archival DVDs and CDs, and these are expensive. But the material on which they're made is a lot more stable because it has gold in it. Um, and I, I have some websites. And like I said, you can go to my site, photographics.pro. There's National Archives, the government website. <clears throat> I know a lot of people hate government, but I got to tell you, this is a great service. Um, and there's the American Institute for Conservation. Just make sure you don't use www. <coughs> they also have some great ideas for what, what you should do with what you have and how to find someone should you desire to actually restore what you have. Now, someone like myself, I don't restore the original. I just scan your original and then I work on it digitally and then I send it to a lab to get a photographic print. There's conservators you can hire who will actually restore the original. It's not cheap, but they can do it and these webs uh, that website will help you find it. A bunch of other sites on there. Um, I think I got that over, let me go back. So, so for those of you who want to cop, finish copying that down, you can. Do you need to see the slide before that? Yes. Are any of these on your website? Um, not in this format. No, not all of them. But if you want, just email me. Say, hey, Eric, could you send me those uh, links for, that you posted up there on your uh, slideshow? And, and just email me. Yes, ma'am. What did you say was the one that Okay, so you would contact American Institute for Conservation and try to get a referral. They'll refer you to someone. And there's also, I don't have it up there because sometimes I do this workshop in, in other states, but the, in Chicago, there's the Chicago Conservation Society. Is that it? Yeah. The Chicago Conservation Society, they'll give you a referral too, to someone. Um, so now, what I want to do is I'd like to jump into... Uh, some photos. 
Is there any, while I get ready for this, were there any questions about something I said? I'm sorry, I'm just going, I'm going through this real fast. Okay, Eric, you know the shop uh, archivers, they were selling yeah. little dots that they were saying were archival quality for the scrapbooks and that were supposedly didn't decompose. And I wondered about that. I mean, obviously, it's adhesive. So I wondered how true that, that statement was. You know, that if you... Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to see what it was made of, but... Uh -huh. If it, I mean, even plastic decomposes. It takes a couple thousand years, but um, uh, I, I would think that if they were dots, they would be small, and you'd put them at the corners, yeah. so it really wouldn't come through. So it sounds like a a nice compromise. You know what I mean? But like I said, there's really at this standpoint with all you people with scanners. I saw hands. It's like I think everyone here has a scanner. There's really no, no, one person doesn't have a scanner. Okay. Two. Okay, so we have a couple. But, you know, you, you really, though, even though you don't have it, you should get one or you should have it done for you. Scan those originals and put them away. There's no reason to display the originals. They should be put away in a safe spot and display the copies. Yes? So what's the top quality of a scanner? So let's, let, yeah, yeah. Right, thank you. Like I said, I was going through it and I was going to just hope that someone would bring it up because uh, I'm going so fast. So the scanner, I just tell you straight what I recommend for a scanner. I recommend Epson brand scanners, E-P-S-O-N. They make, in my opinion, the highest quality <laughs> scanners. And what's nice about them is they're still developing them. Because digital is taking over analog, which is you know the, the hard copy stuff. Some the smaller companies that made the best products are no longer developing scanners anymore. They're not working on it. Some of them have completely dropped. Nikon, for example, made a whole series of film scanners called Cool Scan. Go to their website now, you'll find one. All right, the, Nikon makes the best film scanner, and it costs a whole lot of money. And if, if you want to get ones that they're not making, you're going to pay twice the amount it was new getting it used on, on a place like eBay, because the Nikon film scanners are so good. But I say to Epson because Epson has here, I just hit a button, and a little door open, it has a little feeder for 35 millimeter film. When you open the top, it's got a secret uh, com compartment that you can put slides in, and it will scan the slides. Now, this is a real low-end Epson. I only use this for demonstration purposes. But I, I suggest that you save up a good couple hundred dollars, and you get a, an Epson scanner that has a glass for your flat media, and then it has a drawer for your slides and your negatives. So it actually has two. It's got its own tray for the slides and the negatives. And I forget which, you know, they, they come out with new ones all the time, but it's pretty thick and tall. I always recommend, if you don't know, send me an email, give me a call, and I'll give you a recommendation based on your needs. Um, so when it scans the negative, do you see the picture? Or just the negative? Okay, when it scans the negative, It'll come up on the screen, and I hope to get to that in a second. But I did want to talk about some of these originals. Now, this, this bag is interesting. Is this an archival quality bag? It's not a Okay, we don't know. We don't know what... This is the unknown quality plastic. Be careful. It's not a permanent storage, right? Yeah. All right. So, so here we have a picture... It actually has paint on it, splattered paint. And then on the back, we have tape. Now the tape has not gone through because there's, there's a mat board here, but uh, it's pretty much bonded with the paper permanently. Now, this is what you call an oversize. When you scan something like this, you're gonna have issues because doesn't fit, right? So what's the solution? 
get a scissors and cut it in half, right? <laughs> <laughs> 